go a little bit further back between these two. They've drawn six of the last eight meetings. And it just shows you how little there is between the two as Bywater races from goal and Long knocks it back in. It's Renning who take a massive step towards Wembley and it's Bywater who has to admit it was his error. Well, it's certainly a mistake from the goalkeeper. Cardiff defensively all over the place, but if any one player was going to change the course of this game, all this tie maybe, it was Shane Long because he reacts so quickly. He doesn't put his head down at all. He always thinks he's got a chance of getting on the end of this. It's played back from Keenan initially. It hits McNaughton and then he's on his way, Shane Long. He's always aware of what might happen. The ball might just fall to him and that is a quite brilliant finish. He's under pressure. He has to steady himself, he has to check where the goal is, and he has to score. And he does it all quite brilliantly. Was there a handball maybe in that, though? That's the big question. But it's certainly a tidy finish. It's along the ground. And that could be a penalty. It is! The referee had no hesitation. And it's a yellow card as well, and despite the Cardiff protests, Kanan walks away, knowing that he might have given away a crucial spot kick here. Well, this could absolutely change everything for Cardiff and Reading. There's definitely a pull. He gets away, Mills, from Kanan. He's actually blocked off Kanan. He can't stay with him, and he just pulls him back. And he just cannot do that as a defender. He's grabbed his arm. Mills goes to ground. It's definitely a penalty. Howard Webb absolutely spots on. What an opportunity now for Shane Long to maybe put this tie beyond Cardiff. He has already scored six penalties this season. The Irishman, they bought from Cork City, whose goals fired Reading into the playoff places in the first place, whose goal earlier in the half gave them the lead, who now has a wonderful opportunity to put two goals between them and Cardiff City. It's long against Bywater again. Well, the coolest man in the Cardiff City Stadium was that number nine, Shane Long. Absolutely no panic at all. He's relaxed when he takes this penalty. He lets uh, Bywater go one way and then just strokes it the other. He's a master marksman, uh, Shane Long. We saw that with the first goal. There was never any doubt that was going to go in. And this is just silly from Kane. And he's tugging all the way along. And then once he's blocked off, actually, he just can't get there. And he just pulls Matt Mills down. It is a penalty. And again, criminal defending from Kane. And Sure, what Mr. Webb's given here. Yeah, it is a throw. Edge it would on to McEnough. Oh, brilliantly done from Joby McEnough, who can clinch it now! Reading are on their way to Wembley! This is a quite stunning individual goal. We've not really seen the best, uh, best of Joby McEnough in the two games, but goodness me, didn't he do well here? Great quick feet. He managed to keep his feet, keep his balance as well, and then had the presence of mind to put the ball in the net. But uh, great uh, little twist. He switches the ball from left to right, keeps his balance. Bywater can do absolutely nothing. And judging by the way the second half has gone, the best chances have fell the way of Reading. They deserve to win this game. And McEnough's goal here, the third goal for Reading, surely ties things up now. And all around this stadium, you can hear the clatter of plastic seats as Cardiff City fans make their way to the exits. They know the game is up. He knows he can start ordering a new suit. They know that the search for tickets begins. Get in there!